you probably think that an ETF index represents the market of its name. But that's not at all the case. And the reason stands right behind me, the Swiss Stock Exchange. The stock exchanges are the companies that define what goes into an index and that defines what goes to an ETF. And you would think that stock exchanges try to represent a certain market as, as objectively as possible. But that's not at all the case. Even in the US, where we have a mighty, big Standard Poor's 500 index that represents the 500 largest companies of the United States, it's not at all representative of the US market. As a matter of fact, last year, in 2017, only five companies made up 30% of the returns of the Standard Poor's 500. It was, it was Facebook, Apple, Amazon, Netflix, and Google. These companies completely dominated the Standard Poor's 500 index. It was not a US market index. It was actually more or less a technology index. If you look at the MSCI world, the index of the entire world, you would think that represents the world, right? It has it in its name. Not at all. It's again 50% just the United States alone. And then it's another 30% of pharmaceutical and technology companies and a staggering 20% of financial institutions. You're not buying the world economy, you're buying a very biased segment out of it. The same is actually true here in Switzerland where we have the six right behind us. The Swiss market index has double as many finance companies and five times as many pharmaceutical companies as the, Swiss, as the Swiss market itself. So again, it doesn't represent the market at all that you want to buy. So remember, if you buy an index ETF, it doesn't really mean it represents the market it is described to do. I wish you good luck with your own investing. Thank you.